Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I got a little message I want to share with you this morning, coming to you live from station WEBM. That's wonderful, Eddie B. Marcus, operating smack down from the top of the sky, I call the spiritual realm, right to wherever you are. And I hope you receive this message and make it as gentle as the blood that flows through your veins, that you might be as dedicated, committed to change as you are to life. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Something on my mind made it necessary for me to do this recording for you. I'm reminded, especially when I watch social media, how people are referring to Donald Trump and most of the things that you're saying about Donald Trump are true. Very few things that are said about Donald Trump are fake. Uh, the true things that said about him that, uh, well, should I say the fake things that said that's taken to be true is that he's an honest man, that he cares, a compassionate man. That's all lies. But what I you don't really know is this. It's when you say all of the ugly things about Donald Trump, about being in Russia's hand, that he's a mobster, that he has done all of the number of things that I will not restate here. They are true. And you ask yourself, why is Donald Trump in the White House? Donald Trump is in the White House because he was designed to be in the White House just as all of the other presidents are designed to be in the White House. Even Kennedy, the what we call the only man who was really a true president, was designed to be in the White House. But Kennedy was open to change as his eyes were opened. And as the devil would have it, he had to go. And all of you other presidents, all of them are there because they are designed to be there. Many people thought Bill Clinton was fantastic, especially the Democrats. I remember the first time I heard uh, Bill Clinton speak, I went to a rally, and I loved everything that came out of his mouth. I mean, he just seemed so honest, so sincere, so debonair, till I wanted to vote for him, but I couldn't because I was running as a write-in. <clears throat> I'm sure my wife voted for him. But he was put in to do the things that he does. Uh, what I'm basically saying to you, America, is this. You are and this nation is programmed. And most of the things that we think are true about this nation are not. We get a back picture, should I say a black picture, something that they want us to know, something they, they want us to believe, but the truth is always kept away from us. Now, many of you think that uh, Barack Obama was a great president, and he would have been greater if that powers that be hadn't been there to block him. But the truth of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, is that they were there to block him because he was there to do exactly his role. And his role in his thing stepping outside of what the program was, was to be blocked. And so what we don't have and haven't had in, I don't know, God knows when, if we ever did, was a president who was committed to the people. We have never had a president that was committed to the people. And so when you see, <clears throat> The guys in Congress who are supporting Donald Trump, it's their role to support Donald Trump. This is why they are there. This is why they got the money to be there. And you, the people who vote, your vote is just a tool to make you think that you are part of what's going on. The powers that be have orchestrated a system in such a way that they can program any group of people even any individual, or work it in such a way that whatever they want to come out of it is going to come out of it. And so in order for you to be above this, you have got to separate yourself from what you've been taught and listen to another source. Now for me, I listen to the news, I listen to America just like you. I used to believe in that sucker until I found out that there's one truth, and that's the truth that comes from the spirit, the spirit that comes to you and gives you the truth and you respond to it. Now, many of you don't know what I'm talking about, but the Spirit speaks to you as well. The problem with it is that when the Spirit speaks to you, it says one thing to you, but the system of the world says another thing to you. And the system of the world has some consequences if you don't listen. The Spirit, it got you thinking that it happens after death, but no, it's happening to you in life. 
because the life that you seek, the life that you desire, the life that you want is being robbed from you with your support when you go against your spirit and go for the system. For instance, now, we have this situation in America, what we call Black Lives Matter. That means everybody's on the back of the black man trying to beat him down. Cops are killing him and killing them and all of these things. We know it's wrong, but it's a part of the strategy. It's a part of the strategy to bring America to its knees while they take the whatever the respect and prestige that America has ever had and take it someplace else, going in a circle. And, and I'm saying these things to you, ladies and gentlemen, because I want you to know that the power to make a change is in your particular hands. Knowledge is power if you know if you have knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, money is power. Money is used to manipulate. And if you, for us, for us as individuals right here, the number one thing that we have to do is take money off the scene. See, money gives the New World Order, it gives the Rothschilds, it gives the, the uh, Trilateral Commission, and it gives the World Trade Organization, all of these private organizations that you don't really know anything about and you can't trust your politician to be honest about, <coughs> it gives them <coughs> the authority to, manip to, to manipulate you, to determine whether you've got a job or not, whether you can eat, whether you can buy clothes, whether you can educate yourself, whether you have health care. It t turns the world around. You know that. Whether you make $20 million for a play, a movie, whether you make $200 million for playing of two or three seasons, or whether you make five, six dollars an hour. It's all about power in that sense, control. And so the spirit of the living God tells me to tell you that in order for us to take away the power that you have given to these usurpers and receive it back is that you take money out of the scene. See, that power of God has given us another reason to work. All of the materials on earth belong to God. All of the oil and everything that you think of that's important belongs, came from God. It didn't come from any man claiming to be owning this oil or owning this gas or owning these minerals. I know none of that. All of that is a bunch of hogwash. That's a game that's been played. It all belongs to God, but it was given, put here, for all of the people on earth, whoever wants to use it for whatever purpose. The intelligence of what it's used for, what it can be used for, comes from God through individuals, who are, which allows them to extract from these resources that which we, the people, have determined are essential. Not for how much money we can make, but because the people need it, because people want it, because it gives the, they provide an opportunity to use their gifts and skills. And so there's no lying, there's no cheating, there's no stealing, there's no world wars, there's no terrorism, and there are no superior people over anybody else. That's the God gospel. And you know it's true. Every last one of you know it's true, except those who are peddling hate, those who are peddling superiority. They are the ones who don't want to hear this. And I don't even know if you want to hear it. But you know it's the truth. I've just confirmed what you already know. So what I want you to do is to stop talking how dirty Donald Trump is. Stop saying that. Stop. Start saying how dirty and evil and low down the world is. And if you don't know anything about the world, then start saying how dirty and low down and evil America is. And how dirty and low down and evil your politicians have allowed this thing to continue to exist. And how low down and stupid and ignorant we might be for going along with it. If you're going to say anything negative, say these kinds of things. Don't point your finger at an individual at an individual think that they're to bring down. They're not to bring down. They're just part of it. Right now you're thinking and hoping that Mullen can bring something on Trump. They're going to snatch him down. And the only reason that'll happen, if it serves the powers that be, if it serves what the New World Order is seeking, the New World Order is not seeking that. There's nothing that Mullen is going to do that's going to cause any change in the Trump. So what I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is in you. Listen to the spirit. Here's the way the spirit works in a short form. The spirit is love. Love for you. To allow you to know what love is. So when you look at 
a black person or a white person or a gay person, you know what love is because you can put your own self inside of their body and you know what your love is. And so now you can see the love for them even if they're gay, even if they're black or white, even if they're skinheads, you can know what love is. So that allows you to love that person, not to abuse that person, exploit that person. But as the resources for essential for survival are needed, wanted, and desired, your part, that gift that you have that makes you you, is given all it takes from you to be happy and filled with joy in supplying that gift as a part of the process that all Americans, all Russians, all Asians, all Africans, and all Indians, everybody, can wake up every morning and say, thank God almighty, free at last, free at last. Don't let me just be talking to myself. Now I've asked you to make me the senator from Minnesota so I can take this message to the Congress. And I've, in, in, I've informed you that I would also be seeking to be president of the United States. Now I know that the message that I'm sharing with you right now, even if you decided we're going to make Marcus, Eddie Marcus, we're going to write him in as a president. And I'm giving you this message. Don't you know the powers that be? I don't even know if they'll give me 90 days before they kill me. Then you say, well, why am I doing it? Hell, I'm going to die anyway. But I want you to understand that what Kennedy told you was not a, a lie. It was the truth. What I'm telling you is not a lie. It's the truth. So when they kill me, you can know that the devil is running the show. And now you can make a decision, a real decision. Are you going to follow God? Or are you going to follow the devil? If you try to find some peace and just make it keep from dying, you are following the devil and you are dead already. Now, if I've said a handful, give God the glory. Until next time, bye-bye.